Welcome to this Windows channel and in our look at the November update privacy settings, see what's changed, what's new, we are taking a look at feedback and diagnostics. This is the most controversial setting probably of Windows 10. If you go into the notifications on the bottom right, you go into all settings, there you will go into privacy. And on the left side, you'll see way down is feedback and diagnostics. So the most controversial of all, because it can't be turned off, first of all, and a lot of people speculate of you know on all, all the information that's being sent from here. Uh, some people think you know that our hard drives are being scanned, that files from our hard drive are being sent to Microsoft. That is total bull. If you think that, you should not have a computer. Uh, come on, okay? This is nothing major and nothing much different than any other Windows operating system. And by the way, by any other operating system. First is the feedback frequency. This is something you have might seen, a little bubble that pops up and it says, oh, you, you mic used Microsoft Edge. Uh, what do you think about it? Would you recommend it to a friend? Oh, how fast did the start menu pop up? Um, does the start menu have the options you like? Um, you know, stuff like that. I've got those probably a, a couple of times a week popping up saying, hey, you've never used this feature. What do you think of it? Um, this is, I think, great because it lets you give information to Microsoft about how you like the different, uh, you know, modules of Windows 10, basically. Everything you're using, the functionalities. And I leave it automatic. If you don't want to be bothered by it, because that's possible, you can, of course, click never, and it's never going to ask any question. Another thing you need to know about this feedback is that it's totally anonymous. It's not linked to your Microsoft account. It's not linked to any information that they can actually know it's you. It's totally anonymous, and it's going to Microsoft servers. They look at that, and they say, okay, out of a million people that said the start menu was on average, uh, three stars out of five or, or so on. Uh, it's n really general information, nothing more. So, you know, you choose whatever you want to do with this. I think it's a great tool because it does help Microsoft know what we think of the operating system, and I think it's cool. Then there's the other one. This one is the most contro controversial, and it's diagnostics and data usage. And why it's controversial is because a lot of people think it's giving too much information. And a lot of people say, well, why isn't there an off switch? First of all, let me tell you one thing. If you're using Windows XP or Windows 7 or Windows Vista, you are sending out telemetry. That switch is not at off and never has been. There is always a basic information, basic telemetry sent out to Microsoft. That's how they know how to fix some bugs, some problems. That's how they know the number of people that have a crash on some app or something. So it's, you know, important that this information be sent out. That's how they can actually make Windows 10 better. Um, if you're on a Mac, don't worry. Diagnostics, there's a lot of it going really, really to your, um, you know, to Apple. If you're using an iPhone or an Android phone, a lot of information is being sent out. There's nothing different there from here. Full, what is probably a possibility of the full one. And that's the one that's probably the most delicate, just in case. Full is really sending out a lot of data, a lot of telemetry. So say Microsoft Edge crashes. Full means that it's actually going to send out maybe a screenshot of what you were looking at on uh, edge, maybe a memory capture, so they'll know in RAM everything that was open, all the software, and of course because it's RAM, if you had emails, if you had a Word document, if you had sensitive information, it is of course possible that in RAM memory it was written there, but you know, that's really in the worst case scenario, which probably doesn't happen very often, and once again, Nobody knows from where it comes from. It's not tied to anything, not tied to your Microsoft account. So they don't know who sent that information. And um, so that's probably what is maybe the most 
problematic of the privacy issues, but it's not scanning your computer. It's not looking at your files. It's not doing anything. Microsoft does not at all look at your files. So if you're, you don't like that idea that maybe they could see something, well, just put it at basic. And you know, th that's only the basic, most basics of telemetry. Okay, this module crashed at that time uh, in Microsoft Edge and that's pretty much it. Enhance is kind of the middle part. It will not send sensitive information in the sense that it will not capture or send data that could be sensitive by any chance, but it does send a little more information. So it's kind of halfway in the middle. It's trying to uh, find what, you know, not only what have crashed, but uh, a little more details of uh, maybe what you were doing or a website that you were visiting, stuff like that. But not necessarily, uh, you know, there's no screen capture, there's nothing there like that. So whatever you want to do, you can change this from basic to full or full to basic or just enhanced. Um, of course, it's up to you. But don't worry, there's nothing that they can detect here that is uh, really, uh, they can, you know, say, oh, it's this guy. It's that computer, that you know, it doesn't work like that. It's really anonymous feedback. And a lot of that feedback is mostly, mostly gibberish info that only uh, Microsoft techs can actually look at and say, oh, okay, it crashed in this module because of this. Uh, and he had three apps open and it could be an interaction between this and this app uh, and, and so on, you know. So uh, don't go crazy over these, um, you know, privacy issues. There's not really nothing to go crazy about here. And I think that uh, there's way too much hype on what's happening in the privacy uh, with Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, maybe a video that you'd like us to make, let us know. Give us thumbs up if you like our videos. Helps us on the ratings on YouTube. And thank you so much for following us on the channel.